Hey, I'm Jimmy. I'm Colleen. We're your astute tourists, and we're here at the ancient city of Chichen Itza. Okay, so we made it to the ancient site of Chichen Itza. Um, in order for me to videotape, I had to purchase a permit. It's uh, for three American US dollars. No big deal. Um, we want to make sure we do everything right, so uh, and that way we can bring you a quality video. So I got my permit, and uh, we're going to make our way to uh, the ancient city of Chichen Itza. There's a lot of people selling all kinds of souvenirs and these people, this is how they survive by selling souvenirs and trinkets. Some things may or may not be related to the area. And that's one thing that they warned us about with Taurus. You need to be careful. Just had the gentleman say almost free. Hard telling what that means. But um, I'm, here to, I'm here to capture this. Look at that. This is unbelievable. Pyramid of Quetzalcoatl. You can see behind us. In this case, when they clap it, the sound goes it's and really, reaches really the cool. stages. Very impressive. But several different steps. Again, if you come here, you want to bring some water. It's very hot. There's not a lot of shade here. This is a very impressive sight. So we went to Tulum, and this is totally different from Tulum. We built the pyramids to get closer to the gods. They're not tombs. These are temples that they made these pyramids in order to get closer to their gods. So unlike in Egypt, where they buried their pharaohs inside and those were tombs for the pharaohs. This here is just a temple so that they could get closer to the sky where the gods were. So we came here with a tour so we're our tour guides telling us all about the structures and then at some point we're gonna have some free time We'll be able to walk around and we'll do some more videoing and take some photographs. This is um, unbelievable. If you've never been here, you need to come. They play with a ball, more or less this size. It was a big ball, heavy ball, two, three pounds. Solid gold made of natural rubber. Where they got the natural rubber? In Mexico, we have a tree. The name of the tree is tule. The sap of the tule tree is the natural rubber. So they have a big, solid, and heavy ball, but it bounces. They hit that ball with hips and part of the arm. Every time that they hit the ball, they have to make the ball bounce higher and higher. Reason? They have to make the ball pass through. In the walls, very high, right? They can spend days. The captain can go on over the ball wall, try to get the best shot, hit it, and make the ball pass through the ring. 
No matter who, no matter who, only one is called. And the first part of the ceremony ends. The second part of the ceremony will start. They will sacrifice one of the couples. They will behave one of the couples. Which one? Let me tell you something. Dying a sacrifice in those days for the high class group was an honor. So now you can imagine who, who will die. The winner will decide. They play and win to die. Why? They have a concept. They we have an interview with the God and says, God, I'm your pressure. But my people, they are hungry. They need water, peace. Send some rain and they will have an analysis. Those guys, they are wearing and a big outfit. Sometimes the people ask me, okay, did they play with this kind of, of outfit? Of course not. It's heavy. They cannot run and hit the ball easier if they didn't use this kind of outfit. Something that the archaeologists, when they found this decoration, they pay attention is that all of those players, warriors, they got something in one of the hands that look like a jaguar, a snake, a kind of turtle. And archaeologists, they propose that probably Mayas, they use these artifacts to help themselves and hit the ball easier to make the ball pass through the rings. Unfortunately, they couldn't find any physical evidences about it. They proposed that probably they made of wood, that for the pass of time is the first, first material that can bench, you know, for humidity and all the, the weather facts. That is why they couldn't find any, any physical evidence. Here in the central part of the scene, we're gonna find the representation of the bull. Inside of the bowl, we can find a skull, and in the mouth of the skull, we can find a symbol that looks like the symbol of the war, or maybe the last one. Here we have one of the captain. This guy is stand, head, shoulders, one arm, other arm. In one hand, he's holding a knife. In the other hand, he's holding a head. From the neck, dropping some blood that immediately became a flower, life. Where this head came from? Here we have the other captain. This guy is in his knee. Here we have the shoulders, neck. Oh no yes. Head. And from the neck appear six normal rattlesnakes. Those snakes represent the jet of blood. But when those snakes or the blood reach the ground, they will fertilize them. It's life for the remain of the population. That is the meaning. Of it.
So that's going to about do it for us here at the ancient city of Chichen Itza. I'm Jimmy. I'm Colleen. We'll see, see you, you later. later.